All right, so problem 21.4, particles in a gold ring. This one should be interesting because it has a title, unlike the other ones. Um, you have a pure, you have a pure 24 karat gold ring of mass 10.8 grams. Gold has an atomic mass of 197 grams per mole and an, an atomic number of 79. The atomic number, in case you don't know, is how many protons are in it. The number of protons, the atomic mass is the amount of protons and neutrons, or I, I should just say the actual the actual mass of it, of protons and the mass of neutrons. Um, so, given that, A, how many protons are in the ring and what is their total positive charge? B, if the ring carries no net charge, how many electrons are in it? So, uh, right away, we know the answer to B is going to be the same as the answer to A, uh, because if it has no net charge, the amount of electrons and the amount of protons cancel each other out, then um, it's, it's going to be the same number as electrons and protons. So uh, what we're going to start off with for 21.4, 10.8 grams of gold. Multiply that by 197 grams of gold per one mole of gold. Convert it to moles first. Then we can convert it to singular atoms. So for that, we need Avogadro's number. One mole is going to be 6.022. Times 10 to the negative, sorry, 10 to the not negative, 24, no, 23. There you go. I think that's I think that's it. Um, then what we need to do is multiply that by how many protons are in a singular atom and we have the atomic number 79 so we know there are 79 protons 79 protons in a singular atom so the unit for this is atoms the unit for this is atoms like the number of them so i'm sure you can kind of just imagine that in there um this will give us how many protons are in there? So 10.8 times this fraction right here, 1 over 9, 197 times 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 over 1 times 79 over 1 will give us 2.602. Times 10 to the 24 protons in this ring. That's a lot of protons in this ring. So now given that, um, we want to figure out what the charge of this is. So uh, you might recall me just saying a minute ago or so that the charge of an electron is equivalent to the charge of a proton. And the charge of an electron is um sorry 6.24 times or the the ratio of electrons to to one coulomb is uh one coulomb is 6.24 times 10 to the 18 electrons and we'll just write right here absolute value of a proton, the charge of an absolute value of a proton is equal to the charge of the absolute value of an electron. So given all of that, we can convert this right here, 2.608 times 10 to the 24 protons, multiply that by 6.24 times 10 to the 18 protons. Multiply one divided by that much, one coulomb by that much. So 2.608 times 10 to the power of 24. 
times one over 2.24, 6.24 times 10 to the power of 18. And we have this many coulombs. So if all the protons were by themselves, it would be roughly 400,000 coulombs, which is a lot. If you consider the last problem, a lightning bolt was only two coulombs, and that was like the high end of, of a singular lightning bolt. So this is quite a big number right here, if all of the protons were by themselves. So thankfully we don't have all of this energy stored up in a singular place like the size of a gold ring. Thankfully, we have them in tandem with the electrons. And how many electrons are there? So for part A, that's part, part A. Part B, there are the exact same number of electrons. So these electrons right here balance this out and prevent uh, this massive energy right here from um, exploding that many, you know, like 200,000 bolts of lightning all in one go, you know, that would, that would probably be pretty bad. You couldn't put that in your ring, I don't think. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps, uh, leave any questions if you have any and, uh, yeah, thanks.